praise and be glad in you. <laughs> At this time, we want you to draw your attention to the screen and pay attention to the screen at this time. First of all, thank you guys for joining us tonight. Thank you for being here tonight. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. All right, at this time, please draw your attention to the screens for the featured presentation. Here, give it this. Tell her at least thanks for coming out. I appreciate it, all right? All right, team. Hello? He left a trust fund for you, and it was graduating from dance school. something just tell me man i don't want to be out here looking crazy i would tell you if i knew something because it sounds like you know something cuz yo what and i'm totally scared to tell t well why are you afraid to tell him you think he'll have you killed or something i love my music but I feel like being a servant is my calling too. Yeah, okay. So like, how do I do them both at the same time? Oh, that man will praise the Lord. Come on. Ah, yeah. Seems you and my brother have been spending quite a bit of time together. Oh, he's just helping with the music. <laughs> oh, just helping with the music. <laughs> Sir, listen, can you please tell him that Audi is here? No one gets Do you in. know any other word to say? Yeah. You do audio? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bro, hold my phone. What? What do you mean, what? You've been acting weird and crazy and fidgeting and... I want you to be my wife! Somebody help! I'm pregnant! Somebody baby. help me! Help quick, baby! All right, just calm down, baby, I got you. Just wait, just wait a minute. I'm oh my Please, somebody help! That's it. Hosanna the movie is here, you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Monday Night Music. This is brought to you by Mind of a Minstrel. Father God, thank you so much for this night. Thank you for the opportunity to worship you, to praise you, to love you, to enjoy you, God. And we thank you so much, Lord God, for this this night, excuse me, of a tribute, Lord God, to some amazing singers, those who have paved the way for those to do gospel music. We're asking that you would, God, just bless all of our listeners tonight, all of our viewing audience. We're asking that you would give all the glory, honor, and praise that is due your name tonight. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. We're so excited to be joined by you, you, and especially you. Welcome to Monday Music. Tonight we did things a little different to be on Facebook. So we want you to grab your friend, your neighbor, grab your devices, and join us tonight as we pay tribute to some amazing singers. Now, the people that we are paying tribute tonight have a long history in regards to the industry, in regards to gospel music. They have done songs that have crossed over for many many years. Well, let's not prolong the time tonight. We're going to give you guys a surprise and allow you all to uh, enjoy the ministry and the art of the staple singers. So let's do this. Let's first enjoy one of the first songs that you guys, uh, you're probably very familiar with. It's a song we all know and we all love. This song is called, I'll Take You There. Check this out by the staple singers. Lace. 
Many of you have known this song, I'll Take You There. Now, the Staples Singers are one of those singers that really kind of paved the way for the early 60s, guys. Now, I don't know about you all, but there's nothing like good, solid gospel music. Now, this next song is something you guys are probably all familiar with. Please stay tuned for this featured presentation by the Staples Singers. This is a song that is well known throughout the land. This is called Deliver Me Jesus. This was in 1968. Check this song out. I 
<laughs> oh man, deliver me, Jesus. Now, that's a song I don't know if many of you all are familiar with or even know. But if you notice, there was no drums, there was no bass guitar, it was just hand clapping and foot stumping. Think about that. Most of us would feel like if we didn't have a metronome, if we didn't have a click track or a loop that we would not be able to survive. But these guys were able to sing by clapping their hands, stumping their feet, and allowing the audience to clap on beat. Where do you find that out nowadays? We got Pro Tools, we got Logic, we got GarageBand, we've got uh, we got Ableton Live, we've got Reasons, uh, we've got Fruity Loops. Man, we got all these tools nowadays uh, and Man, the we, some of us still can't keep a beat. So I think it's very interesting to see such a, a craft and an art by the Staples Singers. Tonight, we're live Monday music. Uh, today is the 24th of April, 2023. And we are so excited about the Staples Sisters, excuse me, the Staples Singers. There were some sisters in there, but as you can see, there were some brothers in there as well. Big shout out tonight to one of my heroes, my mom tonight. Big shout out to Dr. Dara Rutley. Thank you guys for joining us tonight on Monday Music. I hope you guys are like me. You are just chiming in and you're ready for some more good singing. All right, the Staples Singers, I don't know why I keep wanting to say the Staples Sisters, but the Staples Singers have some other hot songs out there uh, that were hits. I want you guys to pay attention to this next song. This is a very powerful song by the Staples Singers called Tell Heaven. Stay tuned for this featured presentation. I'm going to leave you now. We ask your prayer. <sighs> we know that prayer will change things. It's dangerous on the highway. And those of you that know the word of prayer, when you bow in the evening, say a word for the staple singer. If you miss me from singing down here, don't worry about it. I got a home on high. Because Jesus said, I'm going away to leave you. He said, if I go, I'll come again and receive you unto myself. And there where I am, you may be also. We got a better home, children. And in that land over there, I have friends and loved ones that's already gone. I have a mother and I have a father that's already gone. They're waiting and watches for me. I don't know what the Lord is going to call me. But there's one thing I do know. Just a few more rides. A few more rides and sit in the sun. 
Now, what are you going to be doing down here? Oh, yeah. I'm going on home to glory. I wonder how you're on your way tonight. And listen. Early, if you meet me there. Don't worry about me. I'll be on after a while. Oh. I got a little more work to do here. Oh, no. And then you look around and see me sit around. Where? Throw. But you beat me. There's one more thing I'd like you to do. And this is what it is, children. Tell me. And you tell him. about y'all but that is a song that will make you think thank you so much mom my mother and hero is on dr dara rutley thank you so much nicole brown is here from toledo ohio 
and the Brown sisters. God bless you guys. Love y'all so much. Definitely got to have y'all on soon. Man, so let's talk about this, y'all, a little bit. Because if you think about anything regarding the Staple Sisters, I keep saying the Staple Singers. I keep saying that. Oh, my gosh. Well, it's amazing because out of all of them, they have so many hit records, you guys. You've got I'll Take You There. you got Respect Yourself. Uh, you've got Let's Do It Again, which was done in 1975. If You're Ready in 1973. Uh, Touch a Hand, Make a Friend. That was in 1973. Uh, Will the Circle Be Unbroken? Gospel record back in the day. You got in 1965, the song called Freedom Highway, that record. Uh, and it's amazing because out of all the Staples singers, you have Mavis Staples, which is the only one that's still living. Uh, I believe she's 83. You've got Pop Staples. You got Cleotha Staples. You got Purvis Staples. You got Yvonne Staples. And all of them have paved the way for us in gospel music. We want to take this time to thank all of the Staples singers for all of the years that they have uh, ministered to us. They have sang songs and have brought us a mighty long way. I want to read something special tonight. Yvonne Staples died April the 10th uh, in 2018 at the age of 80. Uh, Purvis Staples, he died suddenly in his home in Dalton, Illinois, uh, in May 6th of 2021, which is coming up now at age 85, and leaving Mavis as the band's last surviving member. We pray that God will allow her more years uh, to just enjoy life. And so these staple singers have created the way of gospel music. In particular, they have sung songs and they have uh, won awards. They were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That's just how well they were able to cross over with their music. And so it's just very important to understand our background and what we do and what we have done over the years. The Staples Singers have left a mark of songs that we still sing even to this day, y'all. So it's amazing how after all of these years, for those who are creatives and who have produced and who have written and who sing gospel music, they get frustrated because it takes such a long time to be able to be successful, let alone cross over. And so it's encouraging to see these singers for many years have paved the way and done gospel music in such a fashionable way that it, we still sing their songs to this day. And I agree. Uh, yes, mom, this is the last uh, two songs where she mentioned uh, was before her time. And then uh, she's hers of, of Mavis uh, Staples. Absolutely. Um, definitely. And good evening to you, Sunshine. Thank you for Camellia uh, being on here tonight. Thank you, Sunshine, for being here tonight with us. And thank you so much, my hero, my mom and Nicole for being here tonight. You guys are chiming in and I appreciate you guys support with the staple singers. Now, uh, before we get out of here tonight, does anybody have a song from the staple singers that they want to hear? Ooh, you didn't know I was going to do that tonight, did you? You guys did not know that I was going to take the route of giving you the chance of being able to select a song from the staple singers. You didn't know that, did you? Well, in the meantime, please stay tuned for this featured presentation. Congratulations to Psalms Group recording artist, Miss Pam Pruitt for her new hot single coming soul. Check this out, guys. <laughs> Seems like let's see. Okay. All right. Can you guys hear me now? 
All right. Good, good, good. Thank you guys for tuning in tonight. Thank you guys for your patience tonight. You always know how technology sometimes wants to show its head into what we're doing. But, man, I'm so excited about uh, tonight's episode featuring the Staple Singers. Man, these guys have done such a tremendous job in making sure that we have good gospel music. They have left a mark, and it's just amazing to see how all of their songs we still sing to this day. And so it's amazing to know that the Staple Singers were an American uh, gospel group. Uh, they sung soul. They also had some, some R&B uh, in their group. And they were from Chicago, uh, who signed their first professional contract in 1952. And I just think it's amazing that Pops, he passed in 2000. He was the patriarch of the family. He formed the group with his children, Cleotha, who died in 2013. Purvis, who died in 2021, Yvonne, who died in 2018, and Mavis, who was born in 1939, she still lives to this day. So we're praying for Mavis. We're asking God to continue to bless her to see the fruit of her own labor. Man, what a night tonight. What a night to honor the staple singers. What a night to be able to see how these guys were able to pave the way for good Christian gospel music and it's just amazing to see how after all of these years people are able to still sing their songs pay them tribute be able to listen to their records and reflect on the times of the 60s and the 50s the 70s the 80s the 90s and all the things that staple singers have been able to lead over these years and so tonight we want to salute you we want to thank you staple singers for being able to leave such a solid foundation of gospel music. Thank you guys that you guys stayed strong, that you, that you guys stayed true, that you guys was able to be who you were. For us who are still trying to build anything in this industry we call gospel music. So it was an honor to be able to hear to see, to talk about them. If you have songs that you guys remember the Staple singles, Singers uh, doing, man, then I encourage you all to go back and play some of that stuff because that stuff has some substance to it. All right. With that being said, we're going to sign off tonight, guys, with a wonderful song the Staples Singers have done before. It's This song is called Sit Down. <laughs> it's actually called Sit Down. Man. Uh, Mom said to play Grandma's Hands. Before we get out of here, I guess we can add that to the playlist. Let's see here if we can find Grandma's Hand staple singers. Oh, man, this must be something that we've got to, uh, I'm sure we'll be able to learn from. Yeah, here it is right here, you guys. All right. Hey, check out this song. we got two songs left to, for tonight, guys. Check out the staple singers grandma song i think this is the correct song mom so stay tuned you guys and stay uh connected to the screen now for this feature presentation grandma's hand Church on Sunday, Grandma on the hands played a tambourine so well. Grandma on the hands used to shout a warning. She'd say, "London, don't you run so fast. I fall on a piece of glass. Like the snakes out in that grass." Grandma You 
used to hand me a piece of candy. Grandma picked me up each time I fell. Grandma rang. Oh, there really came in a hand and she said, Oh, sit, don't you look at your eyes. But you won't speak of her. She didn't have no apple for but I don't have grandma anymore. If I ever get to heaven, I'll look for grandma. I'll look for grandma. I'll look for grandma. Man, that's a good song right there. They said Grandma's Hand. Y'all, I don't mean any harm, but let's get back to writing songs that mean something. I get it. We are in a generation that sings a lot about going and claiming it and naming it. And all of this, no offense, selfish gospel. Uh, and the gospel simply means the good news. Well, what is the good news? That Jesus Christ died, that he was buried, and that he rose again with all power. And the good news is that we have that power. But can I be honest? We don't have the power on our own. The power comes from receiving Jesus Christ. And that's where you have the anointing that destroys yokes. So if you're always singing songs about naming and claiming and getting your stuff, what about helping other people who are in need? What about forgiving your enemies? What about loving people who are unlovable? What about doing things, guys, that's beyond your fleshly pleasure, pleasurable desires, and doing things the way Jesus commissioned us to do it? This is the reason why I love worshiping and praising God and not being coached and not being coerced, and not being forced, is because, man, when you think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for you, then your own soul will cry out, hallelujah, thank God for saving me. This is why I love songs going back with the Staples singers, because even songs, that guys, that, that meant something are songs like hymnals, songs that, man, they just had a meaning. You know, they didn't have Nothing but a tambourine, a hand clap, and a foot stump, and a guitar. It's pop. You saw pop staples have in the video that we played earlier today. It's just amazing. They were able to create music with nothing. And here we have all the bells and whistles. We got everything, and we still can't even match sometimes the harmonies, the sounds, and everything else that they were able to create, man. And so this is a lesson to all of us that produce, that write that arrange, that sing, that publish music on every level, guys, is sometimes use the finest of things. Darnell, big shout out to Darnell tonight, who is a music producer, a musician, guru, and all of his rights to my mom, Dr. Rutley. Something real simple I'm going to share with you guys and then we'll get ready to get out of here tonight. We've got a lot of great gospel music we're going to be sharing with you guys this year. But this is what I want to encourage you with. I'll never forget, I was talking to a couple of my mentors, uh, Bill Moss, Jay Moss, Curtis, uh, Tarantine. These guys uh, just poured into me. Uh, and I remember I just kept wanting to go and buy the latest and greatest equipment and, uh, and, and all of that good stuff. And they all would stop me as mentors and say, listen, man, use what you got. Use what you have. It's amazing because that same principle, God spoke to Moses and said, what is in your hand? And Moses disregarded what he had. Moses had a staff. He had a beat up little rod. And God said, use that. I'm going to use that to depart the Red Sea, and you're going to be able to bring generations to the promised land if you would just use what you have. So stop thinking you got to go to a million dollar studio. Stop thinking you got to shake hands with the best and the finest. Stop thinking you've got you to gotta know the latest and the greatest in order to be successful. What you got to do is use 
what you have. And I guarantee you, if you use that, if you go to that little room, if you use that little keyboard, if you play those little drums, if you would just learn how to be humble and use the very thing and the very tools that God put in your hands, you can still win awards. You can still be notarized. You can still have notoriety. You can still become popular. You can still do and be wealthy and be healthy. But you have to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, guys. Man, listen, all these things should be, could be, would be, and can be added unto you. Man, thank you guys for signing on tonight. I'm excited about next week. Stay tuned because we got a guest surprise for you guys with all of those who are going to be joining us the next few weeks into May, June, and July, the summer months. But man, this platform is about to explode with some of the great artists that we have that we're going to be bringing to you. So stay connected. Stay tuned. And yes, and I agree, mom, despite small beginnings, those things God can use to make great ways for you. So uh, I'm excited. I don't know about you guys. I'm encouraged. And I love seeing little things become great when they're placed in the hands of Jesus. So thank you guys for joining us tonight. We've had a great time. I hope you guys are excited. I hope you guys are ready for who else is going to be showing up. We're going to keep some of these a secret because some of these are the greatest writers, producers, singers, arrangers who have come from the gospel music industry. And when I tell you guys, we got some people that's going to be coming soon to share an experience with you. I promise you we will. With that being said, thank you guys for joining us tonight so long. And until next time, may heaven smile upon you. Keep in mind, to have the mind of a minstrel is being an instrument used by God. Check this song out. It's called Sit Down by the Staple Singers. So long for now. We'll see you next Monday. Peace. Dangerous man, set out seven and rest a while. Sit down, talk about little David. Sit down, he's a mighty man. Sit down, well, he killed Goliath. Kill the head to King's love. Sit out, sit on and rest a while. Sit out, sit out, sit out. Can't sit out, sit out. Oh, I can't sit out. Sit out, sit out. I can't sit out. I just got to heaven and I can't sit out. Sit out, sit out. I can't sit out. Oh, I can't sit out. I can't sit down. I just got to heaven and I can't sit down. Since you can watch the sun, see how steady she runs. Don't let it catch you if you were done done. Josh you with a Josh you with a son of a nun. We got a mighty won't you stop to learn. God spoke to Josh you went to do loud. You said if you find the battle, the sun stands still. They gave me a letter and he told me to go. He gave me a heart and he told me to go. And if I go, my love is away. Get to the day, tune up my heart and get to the day.